Hi, my name is Dale Turner, and I teach a variety of acoustic and electric rhythm guitar styles here at Hollywood's Musicians Institute. And that passage you just heard me strumming through is reminiscent of a famous acoustic guitar John Frusciante uh, strumming figure from some of his Red Hot Chili Peppers out output from when he was in the band in the uh, early 90s. Uh, what we're going to look at today is a variety of Frusciante style acoustic uh, bits and pieces. He's of course well known for all sorts of world famous electrified rock cuts uh, in the last 20 years, but we're going to dig more into his acoustic subtler side. Uh, many tracks of which you'd be familiar with from his Chili Peppers uh, career when he was in the band, uh, and some of you may even be familiar with, with uh, some of his solo work. We're going to actually start right off with some finger style types of uh, riffs and patterns that he's, he's uh, recorded on the Blood Sugar Sex Magic album. The first riff we're going to look at is something similar to the I Could Have Lied track, uh, which is actually a little finger style bit that takes place on the bottom three or four strings. Uh, let's get cracking here. Go ahead and orient your fret hand index finger around the second fret of the A string. I'll show you the first couple of beats worth first, so you'll kind of recognize the sound of it. Should be pretty familiar to you Frusciante fans. Uh, what we're going to do here is, uh, again, it's, it's mostly taking place on the bottom four strings. It's in B minor. It's a slow tempo. Uh, it's probably one of the more somber, mellow acoustic cuts you've heard in the Chili Peppers discography. Uh, I, I would like you, I would recommend you try to let each one of these notes ring together as much as possible. Uh, and you're going to see things changing around. Kind of like that, and you want to have the notes overlap as much as possible. Uh, I'm going to count you in slow here, and we'll work out the first figure together. One, two. Okay, so you may have noticed I was really trying to hold down the notes with my fret hand fingers as long as possible before I shifted them to the other notes so they all kind of overlapped. Uh, let's do it now at regular speed. Three, four. Okay, and I should also let you know that you want to be careful about the rhythms you use with the hammer-ons and pull-offs uh, to make sure that the timing is equal to the uh, rhythm you're getting out of your pl plucking hand. So you don't want to do that kind of a thing. It's got to be real rhythmically precise. Okay, the next example we're going to look at is another finger style Chili Peppers classic from the Californication album. Uh, this one's called Road Trippin'. And we're going to do some chords similar to what Frusciante's plucking in that well-known tune. Uh, somewhat along the lines of Travis picking style, where, get, where you're going to have the thumb uh, repeating bass notes while some of the upper register notes are plucked around with the uh, remaining fingers. In this case, we're going to just use our index and middle fingers, whereas the previous example just used the thumb and index fingers. So I want you to first grab this little tiny E minor chord. Keep your pinky where it's at for A minor 7. And then you're going to put your middle finger on the second fret of the A string and your ring finger on the second fret of the top string for that B5. Uh, and your thumb is basically going to be doing quarter notes like this while you pluck out the top notes with your remaining index and middle fingers. I'll count you in slow, and uh, we'll do this one together here. One, two. Okay. 
Okay, and of course the real passage for road tripping is twice as fast, so here we go at regular speed. One, two, one, two. Thank you. 